Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I am really excited to be here on the campus of Long Beach State to find out which is better, the hop or the one-two. We have two college level shooters with us to demonstrate the one-two easy catch and shoot from top of the key. Now we're going to look at the hop on a catch and shoot from the top of the key to see if that's any faster than the one-two. talking about the hop versus the one two do you have a preference for when you have a chance to shoot it what, what, which one you'd want to do first uh, I prefer the hop because it's a lot quicker and for me I'm more of a rhythm shooter so it gets more in my rhythm quicker than a one two does so do you feel like the, the hop turn dip and sway all those things have really made a big difference in your shooting accuracy uh, yes it greatly improved because before I was a cookie jar and I was all over the place but now I'm a more consistent shooter and I shoot straight about 95% of the time now now let's line the two shots up and see which release is truly faster side by side. For clarification, what I consider a hop is, if you're in the air, it's a hop. So if you get the ball in the air and then do a one-two, as far as I'm concerned, that still counts as a hop. So let's show that real quick uh, up here on top of the key. As he catches it, he's in the air, but then he does a one-two. That's just as fast as a regular kind of hop. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the one-two versus the hop off of a pin down on the left side of the floor to see which is faster. First of all, tell us where do you play or where did you play? I just graduated from Long Island University, a Division I school in Brooklyn. And I take it you were a shooting guard, is that right? Yes. So when you're talking about the hop versus the one-two, what do you prefer if you're in a game? I prefer a hop because it's quicker and I don't lose my momentum as I'm coming off a stagger screen, screen in transition, off the catch and shoot. Uh, when I come off the one-two, I feel like I got to slow down and the momentum I'm running with has to come to a stop as opposed to using that momentum uh, to get my shot off. And also you talk about momentum balance, is that also improved with the hop? Uh, yes it is, yes it is. We lined up the pin down shots so they're in sync and I don't think there's any surprise which shot is released quicker but also in rhythm and on balance. I have Matt Williamson here to talk a little bit about the hop versus the one-two from a functional movement standpoint. So first, Matt, tell us, what is your training and background? I have a bachelor's degree from Ohio University in exercise physiology. So it seems to me you would understand inherently the differences between the one-two versus the hop. So give us your thoughts between how that works and how the body actually responds when you use either one. When you do a one-two, there's a lot more knee bend for you to get off the floor. Uh, so you're engaging a lot more of your quads and your hamstrings. Um, and when you do the hop, there's really not so much a bend in the knee, but just a flex. Um, so you're engaging more your gastrox or your calves and your glutes. And the difference between the two is primarily with your quads and your hamstrings. For the one-two movement, it's a lot of slow twitch muscle fibers in those muscle groups. When you talk about the gastrox or the calves um, or the glutes, um, they're more fast twitch muscle fibers, which means they contract at a faster rate of speed. So basically what you're saying is a lot of uh, scientific notions in there is that uh, you feel the hop is quicker and more explosive. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel it's quicker, it's more explosive, and really the biggest thing I think it helps with is when we talk about, you know, using the hop, it really helps you maintain a rhythm. It's not all that has to entail with keeping a rhythm in your shot, but it, it really helps to maintain that rhythm. And, and that's something that, from a kinesiology point, you will see all the great shooters, they have great rhythm. I, I haven't ever seen a great shooter that has really bad rhythm. Well, a really important stuff, sports fans. If you're really going to try and get to the scientific answer there, that's pretty compelling stuff. So there you have it, sports fans. Really compelling evidence that the hop is better, more explosive, faster than the one, two and certainly something you should try. I'm not saying that it's good for everybody, but the bottom line is, is if you want to improve, in my mind, the hop is the way that you should go more often than not to be a consistent shooter. 
And don't forget, sports fans, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You in?